what we got. I got two G4s here that we're going to be looking at. Um, I do need to vacuum my room anyway, so... But first thing first, I am going to move my uh, Generation 3 out of the way. Best Kirby I've ever gotten my hands on, as far as older G-Series uh, machines, is my G Generation 3. Um, so, as many of you guys know, the 80th Anniversary Editions did not come out until late 1994. Well, we're looking at my 80th Anniversary Edition Kirby Generation 4 right now. Um, where's my flashlight? Here it is. We're going to take a look. I'll show you what I mean. The early 94 model G4s were not the 80th Anniversary Edition. <clears throat> uh, the earlier G4s, uh, like this, the earlier G4 from 94... It's basically got the same tech drive, almost, uh, compared to the Generation 3. Now, <clears throat> since this is from late 94, why is my light not coming on? There we go. Not sure how well you can see that. There you go. As you can see, this machine was from August of 1994. Um, we're going to get this bad boy out and I'll show you. Now, this machine basically has the same tech drive as this one. And this one's also a Generation 4. So yes, I have two G4s. One, this one here is from 95. This one here I picked up for free. So... I wasn't planning on running my Kirby's again this week, but I was going to make a video on my G4's again. Now, if you look, here in a second, once I get the vacuuming done, I'm going to get this one out and run it too. The Generation 3 and 4. Basically, it has the same headlight lens style, as you can see. Just, uh, basically got the same body style, just different trimming. Just wanted to point that out. pretty good but I'm eventually going to have to replace the pan on that. Up next is my Kirby Generation 4 from 1995. And I can put my Generation 3 back where it was. the G4 from 95. Um, as you can see all my Kirby's has all my Kirby's has LED light bulbs except for my Heritage 2. Um, I put an LED light in my Generation 3 too. And all of my LED light bulbs guys are over a year old so
start flooring or something. And when my vacuum goes over that, the whole thing jumps. It's, it's because of my floor, it's not because my Kirby is having problems. This is actually one of my best running G4s I got, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes because it took me three hours to upload a 10 minute video last night. Um, We'll run the best for last. We'll go ahead and run my Generation 3. Up next, Kirby Generation 3 from 1991, October of 91 to be exact. So this one is a late 91 model. Again, if you look, it's got the same uh, body style as the Generation 4 does, just a different trimming. The Generation 3 has like the uh, white, whitish gray looking color trimming. The Generation 4 has the ashy gray color. Century. After that, and then we'll call the video. Well, like I said, this here is a childhood memory. Um, growing up, my mom had a Generation 3, and then it got traded off. Either my dad did it, or why, I don't know. And we ended up with a Kirby Generation 5, and I think we got that in 97. Late 97, early 98. So, up next will be my Centria. This one here, now the difference between the bagging systems on my Kirby's, everybody, this is going to be a 10 minute video, but, uh, the different uh, bagging systems on my Kirby's compared to my G10 Centria. Um, the Centri the Kirby Centrias run with HEPA filtration bag, which is a, with a HEPA bag, which is what these are right here. These are off brands, but they work. Versus these guys right here all run on paper bags. Now you heard how smooth the tech drive was on my generation 3. Here is my Centria.
about you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because this is going to be an 11 minute video. This is my longest Kirby video I have on my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you all thought. How well my Kirby's run. Which one run, runs the best. Whatever you want to do. Um, with that being said, subscribe for more Kirby videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. With that being said, have a great rest of your day. And subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Or turn on the post bell notification. Ring that bell. So you guys don't miss out on any video I post. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.